Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing our line of construction video for the LCK slate again. And you know, these are these are tough slates. You know, whenever you have these really really big favorites like this, it's going to be uh, it's going to be very very difficult to um, to get unique enough. And now now with that said, um you've seen the winners of these contests, you know, share the first prize with very, very few uh, opponents. Uh, and and the, the way they've been able to do that is by doing very non-traditional stacks, you know, like they'd have the last night they had a one-off with closer um, uh, for example. And it seems as though, that's what you really need to do in these two game slates if you're going to play them at all. You know, I mean, you have two 10 to one or higher favorites. Okay. And, and to, to put that in perspective, you know, it, it, the odds of, of, of both of them winning. Okay. Is what, right. And it's 90% times 90% at least. So that's like 81% of the time, both teams are going to win. Okay. Um, so the, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, is that a lot? Okay. Um, if 80% of the time both teams win, that means that 20% of the time one of them loses. So the, the question then is, is, is getting, you know, is playing the, the, the non chalk chalk worth it? You know, if it's going to hit, 20% of the time, is that going to be worth it? You know, considering that, you know, a, a good amount of the, a good amount of the, uh, of the lineups are going to be both favorites. There's going to be all kinds of duplication and things like that. I mean, you could make the argument that, that actually avoiding favorite favorite uh, is is going to be the way you're supposed to to approach this, especially when it's easy to get favorite favorite in. You know, like this, like last night was a very weird slate in that aiming, not aiming. Uh, who was it? Viper oh, for Hanwha Life had a smash performance, but everybody knew it wasn't that big of a deal because the way the salary structure worked, you couldn't really play them with the other favorite. Okay, with Viper and the captain. Now it turns out it didn't matter anyway, because because Fear X won and the Viper, you know, Viper lineups won anyway. But the point is, is that sometimes, and this is what's cool about TFS, the the salary just kind of dictates how popular a combination can be. Um, and sometimes DraftKings price this prices these things too softly so that you could play, for example, on a slate like this, T1 and Gen G together too easily. So that's good and bad. That's bad because, I mean, it's good that if you want to play those those teams, it, it's easy to do, but it's also, well, it, it's, it's bad because it's good for that, but it's also bad for you because if it's so easy for you to play it, then it's so easy for everybody else to play it. So all the the combinations are going to be really, really highly duped. Okay. Whether it be from optimizers or hand built stuff. So what you're really supposed to do in these situations where you, where the pricing structure will let you play these two big favorites is to not play the two big favorites, because if you don't play the two big favorites, then yes, you're only going to, you know, you're probably only going to cash 20, you know, hit the optimal or be at least eligible for the optimal, right? 20% of the time. But the, the chances that you're duped are very, very small because it's so easy to play those other big, big favorites. Hope that didn't, wasn't too confusing. But so with that said, I think that's where we're supposed to do here is to just, uh, just to make sure that we don't play any Gen G with T1. Now, again, I kind of fudged the numbers a little bit. I said 10 to one on both sides. And the reality is, is that, Gen G is a little better than 10 to one. And then T1 is probably a little bit worse, but I think it works out to be very similar. So when we build these lineups, we are going to probably have to demand no lineups with Gen G and T1 together, which means that 80% of these lineups are going to lose. Okay. Um, or more to the point, these lineups are going to lose 80% of the time. However, the 20% of the time that they win, you're, they're really going to be in business. Now, Listen, to make you guys feel better, we will play 
probably some combination of the two favorites in the Triumphant Warrior because you're only going to you know have to fight 15 people. Um, and maybe we won't play as poorly as we did yesterday. And, and yesterday, to um, to remind everybody, I did an extremely poor job. I don't know why I got this so wrong. I, I was between like four different lineups in the Triumphant Warrior, and I picked the one that was duped by half the field. Um, I'm usually not that bad. I usually have have a good have a good sense for these types of things, but not not last night for some reason. So we'll we'll pro we'll try to do better. So let's um let's just start again by by uploading the projections. But uh, on a slate like this, the projections I'm telling you are not going to really matter all too much because I I, I know what they're going to say, and we're going to have to fade it anyway. So what we're what we're what it's going to say is that. They are going to want us to play. Um, they're going to want us to play T1 and Gen G. And I'm going to build 2,000 lineups. I'm going to bet you, bet you anything. Well, certainly all 40 are going to be some combination of Gen G, T1. Um, and I wonder, you know, how many lineups you have to go down to get to a lineup that's not Gen G, T1. I imagine you have to go pretty far down because they're just, they're, they're such big favorites. I mean, like, I'm going to show you the projection set here. And again, all sites and whatever have something like this. And, and, and like, you could just see however you want to rank these things that it's just all Gen G and T1. And then there's a really, really big drop down to these other teams. Okay. Um, so whether you're an optimizer or common sense or whatever, you're just going to just get, there's way just an incredible overweighting of Gen GT one. And if the only way you wouldn't get that is if the pricing was such that it made it difficult. And we're going to find that out in a second. And, and the way you can determine that is if you get a whole bunch of four twos, for example, then there's something cool about the pricing. that's not allowing you to do all this. So here, here we go. So as I imagined, st uh, stack exposure, um, team stacks, 100% T1, 100% Gen G. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, even if you go down the full 2,000 lineups, is that something we built? 2,000? Um, you're getting 75% T1 and Gen G. Um, uh, well, 75% T1 and 75% Gen G. Not all of them were just the two of them together. Anyway, um, but you have to go way down probably to get those. Like for example, I mean, where 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 do we get our first? Well, it certainly wouldn't be in the top forty, as we mentioned. We would have to get way down on the list. Like so, for example, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna put this aggregate calculator thing to work just to give you guys a, an idea of what um of what uh, scrolling down in lineups can do to your 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 projections. Okay. So, like, for example, like right now, average is 582, okay? Let's say we went to, like, Min Uniques 2, now we're down to 580, Min Uniques 3, 547, okay? So now we're finally getting some Nonshim or, and KT Rolster, and 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 the 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 average, average projection goes down all the way to 547. And, you know, that's also reminding us that the top, however many of these are are just the uber popular lineups you know um so the first thing i want to do is is let's let's run a sim okay so we're going to download the file from draftkings oops we're going to download the file from draftkings and then we will upload this to here All right, so let's use the um. Well, let's put our settings in here first. We'll add this contest sim. Uh, this is fifteen hundred sixty-eight. Now we're going to remember this fifteen hundred sixty-eight entries when we do our geo mean, mean filtering, which we're going to do in a minute. But let's uh, we'll remember fifteen sixty-eight, and we're going to use as the field lineups. I guess build one. So we're going to use our two thousand lineups as the field to compare it to. Um, now before I forget. Let's also do the sim the settings for the triumphant warrior. 
and we'll still use build one like our own you know 2000 as the as the as the field and then we will change this can be six only 16 people okay um so what i say 1568 so as this runs let's start with many unique ones um so as this runs we're going to pull up the geo mean filtering thing and 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 i'm pretty sure we're going to need to do this because what we're going to have to do is 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 force in kind of low ownership so the geo mean that we're looking for is 29.3 so that's what we're going to filter for eventually but just in case we can't we don't need to let's 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 see what the sim shows us here sorting by risk adjusted roi i mean it does it does nothing it does just nothing to the to the distribution i mean you're just getting all the t1 and the gen g and then let's say you went to min uniques 2 you now you're reducing the average by 13 and then even though you min uniques 3 Okay, now you're getting 80% T1, 80% Gen G, but you're still getting too many of these chalky, you know, T1 Gen G lineups. So there's a couple of things you could do. I mean, you could just set a rule that, you know, you could only take one of them. That's certainly possible, but I'd rather get there sort of organically. Like I'd like to put a setting up that will give us a bunch of builds that will give us that instead of just forcing those things in. Before I do that, let's take a look at stack exposure here. And and one thing you will note is that a full 32% of these lineups are for twos, okay? So we can definitely do a little investigation there. So let's see what the four twos are going to look like. So the only thing that they're letting you do here is put one of these underdogs in the uh, the team position. Actually, that's not true. So this one, you can get a uh, a, a deft one-off for KT Rolster. Here you can get a Jiwoo one-off. So these are these are ADC one-offs. Here you get a Piosic one-off. Um, here you get Nanshim one-off. Um, here you get Piosic one-off. So. I think these lineups you should play, okay? But as far as the four threes, uh, I think we need to to force in non-Genji T1 combination. So let's first, um, let's first save these 13 four twos. I think those, we definitely have to play those. So we have min unique three, which is good, you know, trying to get unique, trying to, you know, trying to get diverse, trying to, force in something that's not completely duped and let's uh save these to the favorites okay so 13 lineups oh it says 40 added hold on uh clear favorites uh i only want the 13 four twos let's just see if that's what i'm getting here it's supposed to only show 13 and there it is okay so we'll keep those off to the side and then as far as the four threes go, let's get rid of the four two filter here. Um, let's start doing geo mean filtering until we get rid of these Gen G T1s. So let's let's just do this. So what did I say? 1568. And the geo mean we're looking for is um 29.9. Is that right? 29.3? So let's uh, put in, well, let's first go min uniques one and we'll go filter, add filter, uh, geo mean 29.3. And let's just see what we what we end up getting here. All right, so this is this is um this is a decent start. Um we don't need to get uh play any more four twos, I don't think. Um but maybe we should. I, mean, I think we have these already. What are the four threes from this construct? Well, you're still getting the Gen G two. Okay, well now we're getting some Gen G Nonsham, KT Rolster, Gen G Nonsham, KT T. Okay, good. All right, so so these are these are the ones that we're gonna want. Okay, 
these 16 lineups to go with with at least the 13 that we started with. Um, as a matter of fact, we have 38 here. Why is it only 38? Let's get rid of this. So of these 40 lineups, where did all these four twos come from? What, what, what did I do? Oh, because I unfiltered. Sorry. So let's filter again. Add filter. Oh, it wasn't able to get me all of it. Okay, so less than 20. What did I say? 29.8? So we're only... Oh, we, we can get 40. So of the 40, 21 four twos, 17 four threes, and even the 17 four threes are going to be, uh, you know, some are not going to be any Gen G T ones, which is what we don't want. Let's just make sure before we save these, because we're going to replace these favorites, right? With these, with these guys, Let's just make sure that we don't have any like team captains, you know, with the team position. <laughs> uh, Cause last time, not last time, a couple of times ago, we got that by mistake. All right. So this is all fine. I mean, the, the, the captains are very normal, you know, you're getting, 50% pays in the captain, then Guma Yusi, Zeus, Kian, whatever. Um, so you have both top ADCs in the captain, um, which certainly makes sense. And the re reason we're getting away with that is because we're playing four twos and 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 no Gen G with T ones. Uh, let's just make sure. Let's put these in the favorites. Hold on. Um, 40, we'll put these in the favorites. 40 in the favorites. Let's just make sure there are none. So let's go team stacks. So Gen G. Well, there are going to be Gen G's of T1s, but they're only going to be four twos. Let's just look at the at the four threes, I guess. And then we'll see what, what those are. So the 17 four threes, and then it, of those, let's see what the Gen G's will be. Actually half T1s and half and Nonsham? I mean, how how can this be? How how can we how can these lineups exist? So we can't really. Well, it does sit, have the geo mean at twenty nine point oh six. I guess because you're putting Keen in the captain, I suppose. Um, it feels pretty pretty weak. This one's putting Zeus in the captain, Zeus in the captain, Zeus in the captain. So I guess that's why we're getting to these. So overall, I mean, it's it's a combination of some kind of fishy four twos, um, some strategically placed KT rolsters and and nonsham lineups. Um, let's let's just review what, what this is going to be. Um, so nine, it's still ninety two percent K Gen G and eighty two percent K one, but we are getting some. Nonsham and some KT Rolster because of our geo mean filtering. Um, and see, we're getting some Nonsham in the captain, KT Rolster in the captain. I mean, do those ever actually win? I mean, like, I would prefer to probably do like a one off with with the the one off not being in the captain. That that's what I think I would prefer. So that's what all these things are, right? KT in the captain. Yeah, so I don't I don't think this is kind of the way to go. Just putting just some random team in the captain. I think you have to be a little more creative. I think you have to put the one off in like one of these positions like we had before what was wrong with those with the with the po6 and all that so let let's get back to that let's go back to the to the builds 
with the four twos that were not um whatchamacallit, that were not geomean filtered. Okay, so let's uh stack exposures. Let's just see. So we only had two. Was that right? No, oh, this one after we went to Min Unique 3, right? Okay. So after we went to, went to the Min Unique 3, this is the one with, let's just double check this again. Um, let's look at the four twos. And these are the 13 liners that we had saved before. Okay. So we'll use these 13 as four twos. I mean, some of them have the captain, as I mentioned, but some of them um, are putting like kind of one-offs in the ADC. Okay, so we'll go those 13, and then what we'll do is we will go four threes, and we'll go and we'll do a new Geomean filter of less than this. So I want to make sure I don't get any of these Gen GT ones together as far as four threes go. So let's put these in. So instead of going uh, 29.3, let's, let's just go 28, for example. We get a lot, it'll be a lot harder. And we'll go just the four threes and see what things we can kind of get it getting. And, and here we're really not getting anything of Gen G and T1. And that's really what I want is this type of idea. Um, and there are 15 of them. I guess there are 15 because you can't, it's not letting you do more. Right. So 15 of these. So we'll take these for sure. Okay. We'll take these. And then we'll put these in this file. And now we only have so now we have how many? 28. So we have 12 more that we could make. I guess we could try. Let's 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 do 12 with just under 29 as the geomean filter. Less than 29. When I say we needed 12. Okay. Um, all right, so let's uh, save these. And I just want to make sure these aren't duped. Uh, me meaning that I haven't already played these. So I do actually have a, a a a macro which I created that can determine that for us, but but I probably don't need to do that either because I could probably just use the favorites uh, tab to do that. Um, let's see something. Um, clear favorites. What if I just upload here? No, I can't really do that. So what we'll do is we'll take these forty. And we will use our kind of, whatchamacallit, our uh, dupe calculator. We could do that using, honestly, DraftKings, but because I don't think I actually. Entered anything. Yeah, I did. So let's pull up the dupe calculator. Um. Where is it? The ownership tracking. It is the dupe test. What we could do is put these lineups in here. This again, if you guys want this, just let me know and I'll send this over to you. What this does is you put these lineups in and has it calculate if there's anything, if there are any lineups that are, have duped themselves. Now, again, you can just upload these to DraftKings and then just see. But So it doesn't look like... Yeah, there are actually five lineups that were duped here. Um, so we have to add... 
five more lineups to hear. So what are we going to do with those five? So with those five, let's, you want to get really, really funky and we'll go like under 18. Can we get there? No, actually we'll do the opposite. Let's um do listen. Good night. Less than 29.5. We just need five more. Is that right? Okay. So let's uh put oops. Let's let's download these and we'll just take the top five. Which are these five? Sorry. I'm not showing you this. We'll put these in the dupe calculator, make sure that. These are not duped already, or we haven't already used these. And almost there. We got 35. And we could do all these, right? Let's put all these in here. So this is kind of crazy, right? All this work. But that, that's what you have to do to try to get unique here. Oops. All those are already duped. So these 36. So we have to add five more somehow to this. What five lineups have we not considered here? Well, you want to put... Five lineups in that are just kind of just normal, just to balance out our risk. No, we just kind of can't do that. What we can do is we could do more four twos. So let's, ugh, yeah. So let let's let's just use the four twos. Oops, not this one, sorry. So just use the four twos. You know what we could do? You want to do like one, three, three, two? What do these look like? They, they didn't even make they didn't even make the list. Pretty good, pretty nuts, right? Uh, so these four twos, no good. So we will use these 36 lineups, and then we'll just have to. We'll just have to live with these. And then I'll let you guys know what we're rooting for here in a second, and then we'll do the. And then we will do the. Um, the triumphant warrior. All right, so let's just do this. And then we'll dupe this a couple of times, then we'll We'll get back to this. We'll make an adjustment in a second. Now, what are we going to do with the with the triumphant warrior? Well, let's go back to Saber Sim or somewhere, and we'll go back to triumphant warrior and see what we have there. We don't need the four twos. So here are our top lineups and. Again, this just comes down to figuring out which one people aren't going to play. They're all so close. 589, 589, 590. <sighs> but this one, I mean, right off the top, I mean, it's got a four man Gen G, but nobody in the captain. I'd like to think that that's low owned or lower owned, or this one with Chovy in the captain. Chovy pays, but then a four man T one. Well, 
This one looks a little bit, and all of these look pretty good. So I think it's got to be either this one that, again, has the four, the four-man stack not being a captain, or maybe just this top one, the same thing. The four man not in the captain. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this one. So we'll just take this top one. That's over here, and we'll put that one in the in the triumphant warrior. And let's save, and then we will um, we'll upload them. And then then what we'll do is we'll tweak these these duped lineups over here. And I think what you'll see after I do this is we'll have five duplicated lineups in the shock blast. Let's take a look. Uh yeah. Uh actually not really, just just a couple. This one shock blast, let's just double check. Shock blast. So the problem is that these are leaving like no money on the table, you know. So how do we get a little different with all these with with you know just making one change? So let's just see. So this one is uh Genji T1 oh KT in the in the in the in the team. Okay. So instead of doing this Instead of doing this, um, we'll add one more KT and turn this into kind of a game stack. So what we'll do is we'll put T1 in the captain, I mean, in the team spot. And then what we'll do is we'll play... We could afford it. Yeah, two KTs over here. Okay. Um, and then we'll put T1 in the captain over there. So I guess that makes some sense. So we'll we'll take these dupes and we'll turn these into kind of game stacks. Just make sure. Okay. Like, so this one, for example, is Nashim in the captain. But instead of that, let let's 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 make this one a a a Gen G stack. Actually, no, it's the same. We're trying to do the same thing. So again, let let's let's stack the again the Gen G T T one, uh, excuse me, the Gen G K T one again. We'll put T one in the captain. And then again we'll put um perfect over here. And we'll put Deft over here, we get another game stack. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will, we have, to, we'll try one game stack with the other one. And what that is going to involve is if you put, well, you'll put T1 in the captain. Well, we've already done that, right? We'll put sorry, we'll put Gen G in the captain. And then what we'll do is we will stack the non shim game. Um we have to figure out who's playing here, by the way. Mihil hasn't played since August fourth. So we're gonna presume but but he's gonna he's gonna probably play. So we're going to stack this one up a little bit. And then Gen G and the captain. Now, as a matter of fact, since I just want to make sure I didn't have any din did. All right. Um, and then this last one, we'll do one more with Gen G in the captain. I mean, uh, by himself. And we will again stack the other game. We'll put uh, Fisher this time. 
And we'll also put in, again, the uh, non-shum and, and th that, that'll work. All right, so pretty pretty weird group of 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 lineups that we're playing. Um, if if anything comes in really normal, we're definitely not winning, but we'll see what happens. Uh, good luck, everybody.